So these are brain tumor cells growing in here. Uh, a virus um, is able to uh, co-opt uh, some of the uh, signaling mechanisms uh, that are uh, in the cancer cells. Uh, and as it does that, it releases a group of very potent uh, enzymes called proteases that kill the cancer cell. The virus uh, uh, then starts a very potent cell-mediated immune response, and that is what uh, uh, destroys uh, the cells beyond what we were able to reach uh, with the uh, infusion with the virus alone. so we don't have to treat 88%. So here's a treatment just for the people who it's going to work. What was promising and interesting was, although the average or median survival was no different, that if you looked at the, the patients who did exceptionally well long term as being defined as two and three years after treatment or after recurrence, after the tumor had come back, that there was a higher percentage of those patients who were still alive than what we would expect with, with uh, standard therapy. Okay. And then here was also the tumor that retreated. They are optimistic. They tell me I'm six and a half years out, um, meaning that I'm six and a half years out of um, my original diagnosis. Um, I say that I'm cured. Um, they don't like to say that I'm cured, but I do. Follow my finger with your eye. It's in my brain and it's working. Like my scans like are showing like that's decreasing and um, it's not spreading. So, um, so new MRI is here. That's April 10th, so three months ago. And then here was also the tumor that retreated and how we can barely see anything. It's, it's a promising first look for sure. And it certainly deserves further investigation and larger clinical trials so we can find out what's really true or not. If the data holds up and the 20% at three years is true, that's an advance. I'm so happy. Congratulations. <laughs>